Welcome or welcome back to the ATL All Things Life, my faith and lifestyle channel. Today's video is going to be just a few practical Bible study methods. And this first one is the SOAP method. The SOAP method is for those who want to give themselves intentional time of learning. So you want to start with a scripture according to the season you're going through or a keyword search or just something you really want to learn about in the Word of God. It's so important that we really uh, take the time to get into the Word and meditate on it. So, so the S stands for scripture. So so you're going to find that scripture and you're going to write it out. I know for me, sometimes when I write things down, I tend to remember it better. So writing out the scripture and then just kind of meditating on it after you write it, just looking at it, see what speaks to you, see what pops out to you. And then the O is going to be the observation. Observation meaning what does the scripture mean to you? What is popping out to you at the moment? What is impressing upon your heart concerning this scripture? And you just write that out. Um, I love this way because it's kind of like a freestyle way of getting the word and understanding it. What does it mean in your heart? What is it giving? What is it saying? What is it speaking? Uh, most importantly, and this is how we allow the Holy Spirit to give us revelation and understanding in the word. And after observation, just take the time to read what you wrote. Um, the Holy Spirit may give you more things to write about and just meditate on it. Now the A stands for application. Application is how am I going to apply this to my life? How am I going to apply this to my decisions, to my daily lifestyle, to relationships or places I need help with? Application is so important because we can go back and look at this method and give ourselves some strategy, some keys. And then after application, we're going to write down a prayer on how to help you along this journey and to walk out what you have learned. This next method is a biblical commentary by Joyce Meyer. Now don't let the word commentary scare you. There are some commentaries out there that are a little complicated, but when I saw these a couple of years ago at a Joyce Meyer conference, I loved the book cover. And once, once I started looking through it, I love its simplicity. I love the steps. I love that I can write in it. And what a commentary is, is basically explaining scripture in note or in long form. So I love to take a corner in my home, get in a quiet place, and just kind of read line by line what this scripture is really saying. Also, a commentary can reference one scripture to another and relate it and tie it all together. That way you have a better, better biblical understanding of the Bible. So I feel like this particular commentary is good for personal development of learning in the word. So I will link these in the description box below. I love Joyce Meyer. You all know that I do. I love her simplicity and the way that she uh, relays the word of God. So biblical commentary is a great study method for personal development and maturity of the word. This next study method is one of the most fun and interactive um, studies that you can do. It's called the Purple Book and it's Biblical Foundations for Building Strong Disciples. So discipleship. Um, you can take this as a group. You can do this as a um, what do you call those uh, book clubs? You can get your spouse, grab a friend, go to a coffee shop, 
uh, be that at home, whatever it is. But this is the basics of Christianity. It gives you basic understanding on what it is to be baptized, what is salvation, what is sin, basically on how to live a Christian life and the Christian values at a basic level. It's a work study, so it has questions and answer, and it also has application and reflection. So there's great conversations that can be had with this book. It is a 12-week course, but you can drag it out as long as you like. But I really, really love the interaction and the simplicity of this book. So I will link this and all these books down in the description box below. The current study method that I'm using now is the One Year Bible Online. If you are like me and have a routine schedule, the One Year uh, Bible Reading Plan would be a great way to balance yourself. Instead of being all over the place and reading the Bible, um, I find that reading an Old Testament, New Testament, a Psalms, and a Proverbs is very practical. Um, it's very understandable. Um, I love the Bible in one year because it's kind of like a story being unfolded before my eyes because I can continue on in what I was reading. So I love to do this at home, um, definitely playing some meditational music. This is William Augusto, one of my most favorite meditational music artists out there. I will link his channel in the description box below. It just gives me a uh, calmness and peace and it just kind of uh, helps me in my thoughts because you know when you're studying the Bible when you're reading the Bible thoughts of the day to do list start popping across your mind and giving this uh, meditational music allows me to just quiet myself and get into the Word of God Bible in one year it wisdom it has um, an awesome structure and I really like the balance of this so if this is a study method that you may be interested in you can look it up online I will also link it below and I hope that some of these study methods is something that you would be able to find yourself doing in your relationship with the Lord I hope that this video was able to do that for you I hope it encouraged you and if you have any comments or suggestions put them down in the below and I want to thank you for watching today's video and I will see you in the next video. God bless.